Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at fractions of quantities. Um, we're not going to be looking at like really complex numbers, so we're going to kind of do some really simple ones. Uh, and the one that I'm going to be looking at today is uh, 2 thirds of 24. What does that actually mean? Um, so there is lots of ways of doing fractions of a number, all right? Um, and I'm going to kind of have to show you guys multiple little ways here just to kind of get the hang of it. Um, Okay, so let's start with the first one. The first one is going to be like this. Now, most people kind of say is like, how do you convert this into um, kind of like a mathematical statement, right? So two thirds of 24. Um, two thirds of 24 is basically all it means is two over three, they're a little off. It just gets converted to like almost like a little multiplication symbol. Now, you got to be careful, um, especially when you get to like year 11 and later on there, or even at year nine, you might do it. There's another off with the OFF, um, that slightly means uh, a different thing, but we'll actually talk about that um, in the later videos. So we've got two thirds of 24. Now, how do we, how are we gonna actually do this? Um, there's so many ways of doing this, and I'm gonna try and see how many ways I can try and solve this, but here is uh, method one. Method one is two thirds of 24, is what you can actually do is because the two numbers uh, that are in the numerator, which I'm looking at is 2 and 24. I can multiply both of those numbers and I'm going to get 48. 2 times 24 is 48. And then I could do 48 divided by 3. Um, and of course, you can actually use long division for this. You can actually uh, split them up if you want to. Or if you have a calculator close by, you could also just do it on the calculator. So I'm going to go 48 divided by 3, which actually equals to 16. Cool, that's one way of doing it. Second method of doing it is, what we can do is we can actually go 2 thirds times 24 is the same thing as saying two lots of 1 third of 24. So all I've done there is I've broken the 2 thirds as two lots of 1 third times 24 because I know that this part here, 1 third of 24 is pretty much the same thing as saying two times 24 divided by 3. Now, 24 divided by 3, if you've been watching some of the previous videos, you know I told you, you got to be good with your times tables, right? So here we go, 24 divided by 3, you should know straight away, 8 times 3 is 24, which means 24 divided by 3 is actually 8. So we can rewrite this as 2 times 8, and 2 times 8 is equal to 16. So that is another way of doing this. I'm going to show you one other method. Now, this is like really annoying method, but guess what? It actually does do the job. Um, and it kind of, I'm going to show you what it looks like visually, all right? So we've got two thirds of 24. And I call this the box method. And I don't know if people are still using it or not. But like basically, I take this box. This box is actually worth 24. All right, that's what it's actually worth. Now, next thing is because I'm looking at a third, all right? So here we go. I'm going to write this here, two thirds of 24. Now, 24 is the black box. There we go. That's what that 24 is. Um, so the first thing is I need to split them into thirds. All right, that's what this is. So I'm going to take the 24 and I'm going to divide it into three. Or like I'm going to take the black box and divide it by three. 24 divided by three is actually eight. So I know that this is going to be each of these blocks are going to be eight. Um, and the final thing is I'm actually looking for two thirds of it. And because I'm looking at two thirds, this is a terrible, terrible color. Let's just go back and get another color. Uh, let's go with what haven't I used yet? Uh, let's go with the pink then. Two thirds. Okay, that's not any better. Um, but yeah, I've selected two thirds, two boxes out of those three boxes, and you can see two lots of eight, uh, which is actually equal to 16. So. When you're doing like really simple fractions of quantities, uh, you can again choose any of these methods um, to kind of um, get to that answer of 16. Now, if you do have this particular calculator or sometimes you might have a different calculator, um, what you could do is you could actually go um, two divided by three, which is the same thing as two thirds. And then we should be able to just go click on multiply by 24. And again, you'll see that two thirds, um, two divided by three is We'll talk about that later. Uh, we could actually multiply it by 24. Now, a good idea is also to use a, a bracket. So you could go 2 divided by 3, 
and multiply it by 24. And again, see that same thing that's happening. You're going to get 16. But yeah, like I said, learn your times tables, guys. It just becomes so much more easier uh, to do these types of questions. But that's pretty much it from me for this short little video. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.